Happy New Year, Steve. Yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, um, one of the things, that, not people that write in, uh, but people that I come across, uh, and some of them are involved in the fight game, some aren't, yeah. and most of them, they always ask about Izzy. The second thing that they ask about is how's Steve Oliver getting on? Yeah, are well, we going great? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for for those that haven't seen their previous interviews, can you just run it back quickly? Yeah, I mean, uh, what the past couple of years? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, just you know, COVID was pretty bit of a crazy time, and uh, you know, I just thought that um, common sense would have prevailed, and and uh, you know, people would have stood up against you know basically apartheid in this country, but it uh, seems like everyone just was happy with it, you know what I mean? But um, I wasn't prepared to do that to our, our students or clients, so we just opened up and, <coughs> you know, um, worked safe and that, done their best to close us down. They gave us, they dealt out some pretty impressive fines and we're still fighting that, we're still going through the process, but, <coughs> you know, that's, uh, hopefully that's over. And, uh, you know, we just turned a corner. I mean, you know, uh, everyone lost, you know, was pretty uh, subdued for a couple of years or lost, you know, and everyone's lost their, you know, lost their goals, lost their focus and their ambition and just just lost the energy in the last couple of years because there was no real clarity around the future or what they hold, held or what they look like. And a lot of people uh, re-evaluated and uh, moved away from the sport altogether. And <coughs> You know, they just thought, you know, had other priorities come up. But, you know, since that's all, you know, gone now, I mean, we're still going through the process, still going, we've still got court dates and everything. But as far as I'm concerned, it's over. And we're just excited for the future, you know. We've, uh, we've moved out of our old location and uh, just a fresh start. We're only just down the road from our old place, but a much better space. And, you know, the, the team's hungry, everyone's coming in this, this year and is keen to compete and to get back on it. So it's exciting times. We just hopefully we can put that in the past and move on. We've got a you know, couple of good prospects coming through the team and we're excited. Mm. I had to go back to it, but um, you were fine, as you say, some pretty impressive. What, what, what did the total get up to? Oh, I think it's up to 80k or something like that. I don't too much think about it, really. I, I, I know we've got a court date coming up at some stage, but get in line, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I think it's ridiculous and, you know, it's been proved to be ridiculous, but everyone's, you know, the, the system seems to want to, you know, continue with this circus, so we'll just turn up and see what they have to say. Mm. The new space here is amazing. Yeah, thanks. Well, there's been a lot of work, you know, a lot of work going in over the, over the Christmas break with the family and we've had to, just the team really rally behind us and it's been amazing, you know. It's awesome. Yeah, it's come up, it's come up really well. Yeah. Um, you're not far away, as you say, from uh, your previous um, yeah. location. Did the, your clientele... Yeah, I mean, yeah, or? yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, a, you know, epic energy coming here this year. I mean, the last... You know, like I said, I know I was guilty of that. We lost a little bit of focus and lockdowns and fines and, <coughs> you know, uh, uh, you know, issues around uh, paying full rent through lockdowns and court battles and stuff has really taken a toll on me, you know, and my energy towards the team. It was hard, you know. But, uh, you know, we've, we've shed a lot of that. The, you know, just with that old location seems to have got rid of that and we're into a new location and everyone's excited yeah really excited so uh, yeah we're looking forward to this year mm. well you, you your grappling um, was huge last year and and are you going to run how many more tournaments this year have you got yeah we run uh, the uh, you know NT grapplers uh, you know doing really well we've got a couple of key people involved this year that are really you know just the corporate uh, structure behind it all so that's exciting and uh, we just want to take it to another level. I mean, every tournament we try and improve. And uh, it's really just about, uh, you know, just developing New Zealand and, and giving our fighters opportunities and looking around internationally and see what we can do and see how we can make pathways, you know, overseas for the, for the boys. We've got, you know, obviously, as you know, we've got JJ, he's doing great things. He's in the 16 man in Bellator this year. And uh, we've got Hux, you know, Hakurai, he's back here from San Diego, he's doing great things over there. So, um, 
he's back for the Christmas break. Just having their opening in a couple of weeks, he's going to run a run a seminar on a Saturday just to get everyone back in the mood and get them back on the mats and uh, you know just bring in the uh, the team nationally. You know, New Zealand top team, bring all the bring all the affiliates in. It's been a couple of years, like I said, we haven't had you know just no real structure and no real uh, nothing. You know, so it's been a couple of years since the teams got together. So it's exciting. Yeah, really, really keen. Can you have a look back at uh, 22 and, and tell us uh, some highlights from there? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the grappling team has been, you know, uh, still uh, performing well, you know, um, they're doing good things. You know, I mean, there has been a little bit of movement within the team. Like I said, people, some people, uh, you know, just lost focus and, and lost the drive and, and that's normal, you know, but it was a, a much bigger percentage through that COVID uh, time, you know, people just reevaluated their whole lives, you know. And, uh, you know, sometimes New Zealand is a little bit isolated and it's, and it's hard to, you know, internationally you can go and do big tournaments weekly, you know, you've really got to, especially now, you know, the, uh, the economy is not the best, so it's hard, you know, flights are up, it's, it is hard, but uh, yeah, we're just rallying behind the team. We've got Joe going off to the Worlds uh, in a couple of weeks, and uh, we've got a good couple of prospects with the boys in the MMA with, uh, you know, uh, Zach Bennett. He's looking to go pro this year. He's, uh, and a couple of other boys as well, looking good. So, um, yeah, yeah, we're excited. I mean, the, the tournaments have just been, you know, it was a little bit of a slow kickoff. We, you know, just with the tournaments, I wasn't, um, uh, we closed, we didn't have any tournaments through that period where you had to show vaccine passes and all this nonsense, you know, I wasn't going to put kids in a position where they had to take an experimental medicine to compete in a the sport they loved, I just wasn't going to do it, so we just, we didn't even know if the, the tournament had a future at one stage there, but, you know, you know, God's good and he's, you know, opened it back up and we don't have to, uh, you know, ask for any sort of stuff. And there's no separation at all. It's everyone's welcome. And and the tournament was, you know, first couple of tournaments were a bit slow, but nationals we had over 800 fighters, so it's one of the biggest we've had. So I'm thinking, you know, we're excited for what's this whole this this year's got for us, you know? Yeah. Um, known as a MMA gym in the grappling gym, but uh, you also sit put out some really good kickboxers as well. Uh, what's the prospects on the line? Yeah, we've got a couple of good boys coming through there. I mean, you know, we, uh, our, our, you know, we are based in jiu-jitsu, and then we wrestle, and then the kickboxing, uh, you know, comes over the top, and we've got uh, Chris Ohio is one of our main guys here. He's, he's, you know, just a great technician and a, and a good coach, and uh, he's a real asset to have on the team. We've got Seth and Ben and the boys coming through there, but all the MMA guys do a little bit of kickboxing just to, you know, just to get their hands flowing, and um, they might not take it up as a full discipline, but they get in there and throw hands just to uh, sharpen that side of it. You know, MMA's a, you know, there's about three disciplines in, in MMA, at least, you know, some people take it further with, you know, might, might they might have a specialty in Taekwondo, or, or t you know, use a few weapons there, or, or karate, or whatever, but uh, we just basically function on, uh, focus on uh, kickboxing, uh, wrestling, and jiu-jitsu. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not jiu-jitsu either, you know, it's not uh, MMA. That's where a lot of people get mixed up, you know. They think it's kickboxing, wrestling and, and, and you know, uh, sport jiu-jitsu, and it's not, you know. The MMA grappling is a, is a lot different. So, um, you know, with our time in uh, American Top Team and in the, in, the, in the years I spent with Mark and that, we really got our head around that quite early. So, um, yeah, the boys picked it up well and, and are doing good things. Um, you mentioned JJ and Hakariah. Um, is there anybody else that you think will go over and join those guys? Or? Well, I think the team's getting strong enough here to do it back here now, you know, with the, with the boys coming and going. And, the, you know, this, uh, people think now that they need, you know, some sort of special, you know, I, I, uh, I, I talk to the boys all the time in, in, in San Diego. It's supposed to be the hub of the world, really, for for BJJ and, and, and MMA and they just said man we, people don't realise in New Zealand how good our gyms are you know like you go over there and you might have a world class boxer and uh, an average wrestler but their jiu jitsu's white belt level or the, or, or the jiu jitsu's world class but the, the hands are 
uh, terrible and their wrestling's terrible, you know, there's no real gyms. I mean, we're proud to say that every, every element of our, our game is world class, you know. The wrestling, the jiu-jitsu and the, and the stand-up is, is world class, so we bring a, a, a complete package to the game and, you know, that's, uh, you know, New Zealand has done it, you know, the, Izzy and the boys once again have uh, raised the bar in New Zealand and it's pushed other gyms to evolve and, you know, it's been a good thing. Can you see yourself then uh, having a team and, and just travelling back and forth? Yeah, well, th well, now things are opening back up, there's a possibility, you know, but, you know, like I'm, I haven't got any vaccine pass or anything like that, so I'm not getting into any countries with that sort of nonsense, but, um, yeah, for sure, you know, things are opening back up and, I'm, yeah, I'm excited to get, you know, I've been, you know, like the last couple of years I haven't travelled, you know, with this the doubt around uh, what you need to do to go overseas. So yeah, we've been keeping it pretty in-house and developing the boys on the local level, but this year I think it's going to open back up and I'm excited to get overseas with the boys, yeah. I'll be excited to see how it happens. <laughs> Good to see you. Turns out too, mate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I'm so uh, happy for you after all the crap that you had to go through having around at the other gym yeah. and everything. Oh, that's what it is, eh? You just yeah. keep moving forward, take the, you know, bike down and keep swinging and it's going to turn around at some stage. Yeah. <laughs> Good to yeah. see you, brother. Yeah, good on you, mate. Awesome. Yeah.